Now, if you're on a budget, you're probably looking into the Intel Arc A750 or the AMD RX 6600 GPU. I'm just going to cover kind of like what this particular article is about and sum it up. I will link you to this article as well. Please go over there and check it out. But I'll just give you this at the beginning and take this as you will. But I've been gaming for 30 years. So, you know, also take that how you want to. But um, I wouldn't recommend either one of these cards. Don't waste your money. Save up another two or three hundred dollars and get something that's five or six hundred dollars. Uh, get a, get a forty seventy or something. You know something that's going to last you for a while and something that you'll buy and be content and happy with for a little while because these cards are budget. So that's up there right in front. If you still want to continue watching the video, I appreciate it. So let's go on. So I'm going to kind of like really go all the way down here to the end and summarize what the overall performance is about. Um, and the costs on these are around the same. They're around, I think they're around 200 bucks each. I think that's US dollars. That's not bad, I suppose. It's $400 in Canada. <laughs> or is it $600 in Canada now? I live in Canada, so th things up here have gone through the, gone right through the roof. Uh, anyway, so, um, so what are the differences here between them? Well, according to this article, you know, uh, Overall performance, the winner is, surprisingly enough, is Intel's Arc A750. Now, I don't know what the driver support is like with this and games and all the rest of it. I've never tried any of these Arc video cards. I, you know, back in the day, I reviewed tons and tons of AMD video cards and uh, ATI at the time. But um, remember all those HIS video cards? <laughs> oh, boy, that brings me back. But, yeah, so... It does. The RX 750, A750 outperforms the R, R, RX uh, 6600. It does. Um, and overall, it's it's the Intel that wins. Uh, ray tracing also goes to uh, the Intel A750. Rasterization also um, kind of goes to the A750. Um, the difference, though, is less pronounced than anything else. So I, I, I really, that's why I found this article kind of surprising, to be honest. And, um, you know, and it looks like actually the 6600 is priced above the, the ARC A750. So I think the A750, you may pick it for 200. I think the 6600 is around 300. So, but again, driver support, I'm not sure how strong that is right now in games. Uh, I don't know. But again, like I said, like this is just my comments and my kind of overview on what you know this article is about. And uh, if you're looking at getting a video card and you don't do a lot of gaming, well, you know, th this is an option. And still, 200 bucks for a video card is, is not what you call uh, super, super cheap. But, you know, they are pretty, pretty competitively priced uh, overall. At, but... The performance lead goes to the A750. So, um, you know, uh, I don't know how much you know about Intel's ARC. I don't know a whole lot about it, uh, video cards, but uses Intel's XE architecture. And uh, the RX 6600, which is the AMD video card, is based on the um, AMD's RDNA2. And these uh, different architectures do contribute uh, to performance variations in specific games, surprisingly enough. And I am very surprised about, you know, Intel's video card beating it. And this is good because now you have three competitors in the market and competition is excellent, excellent for the consumer. You know, when you've got this, you've got three companies competing for the market share and uh, gaming is on the rise. So it will be great to see what Intel can come out with in their next iteration of video cards. Um, now, I mentioned this before, driver maturity, obviously that would go uh, to AMD, definitely. And Intel is new to the scene. So again, that, that might be a pretty big, uh, it is for me, it's, you know, I would rather go with a video card that would be have a better better support and they've been in the industry quite, for quite a while and you don't have games that uh, crash and all the rest of it. But yeah, so this is this is the article. You can check it out. Um, you know, the again, the slight advantage goes to, um, surprisingly enough, the Intel Arc A750. What do you guys think about this? Would you get one of these video cards?